What if you get married to this man and you discover that he has a very tiny penis? Are you going to go ahead with marriage or you're going to divorce him? And then somebody is like, ah, me? I'm going to check it or I will use my hand and film it like this and be sure that it's in, it's in part. So if you basically go to any Instagram page, you scroll through, you see people coming to advertise one penis enlargement cream or the other. It's like the other of the day. They'll tell you, hey guy, you know they do well. The thing you know they rise well. The thing you know big enough. Come, we we'll increase them. During the growth process, it happens during the early stage of our lives. Different hormones are being released that helps you know in the growth process. So when you have gotten into the stage of adulthood, there is no such thing as you know enlargement or extra growth. Take for instance myself, I'm basically short, yes, and I'm proud to say that I'm short, but there is no way I would see a product now that tells me I'm going to gain two three inches. And I'm going to buy that product. I don't understand. We say I'm fine. If the size of your penis is four inches, it cannot go beyond that. If anybody tells you you should buy one product that is going to help you increase, it's not. I've gone through. I I I stumbled on one um product that claims to be a penis enlargement um, product. And when I looked through the combination, I realized that they had sex enhancers in them like your Sildena fuel, which is an already licensed product. It was mixed in a herbal product, you know, from different, all sorts of roots and the rest. We don't even know the origin. That was what was in it. Now, imagine you take such a product with the claim that it's going to increase the size of your pen. Crap is in set in. Erection is lasting for God knows how long. And then you are there, you're like, oh my God, what's happening? And you're feeling like ah, now this size is shown at this point in time is a case of emergency that needs to be treated. But you'll be stupidly thinking that yes, this is the enhancement product. You're already having priapism in you, first off. Secondly, there are chances of you, you know, developing blood pressure. Because even for elderly people that we prescribe, you know, um this uh, sex enhancers for. We always try to make sure that we monitor their blood pressure. So there are young people you feel like because you're a young guy out there and you don't have blood pressure, you are good and the rest. There are lots of young people who have blood pressure who are suffering from hypertension. And you may not know, you won't know because you have not gone to the hospital to get yourself checked. So how would you know? What's even the qualification of this person selling this product to you? You don't know. Maybe this person selling the product did not even finish secondary school. He doesn't even know the component of what he's selling. All he knows is marketing and telling you this thing is going to grow the size of your penis and you are there happily going to procure penis enlargement cream, penis enlargement product, penis enlargement, all sorts. All of these things are, are things that we should always look out for. Look out for fraud stars. These people are just there to scam you of your money. And guess what? Most of the time, these products don't come at a cheap rate. They go at a very expensive rate. And you begin to ask yourself, like, ah, ah. So only because I want to increase the size, I have to buy. But people feel like because it's more expensive, it's a lot more efficacious. But these things are not really true. They are totally out of the you know the line and stuff like that so you don't want to go ahead to say you want to buy product to increase your pains brother i you know i put up a question to uh, a couple of clients i have and you know they were asking me what product is approved by now i say all through my stay in that as an intern i never saw any product that was approved for penis enlargement so you should go and ask that your vendor where he or she got the license to sell such a product and things like that. These are things we should always look out for. Why am I making this video? I'm making this video because a lot of persons are coming to my timeline asking me how effective these penis enlightenment creams are, um, if they are approved and are there side effects. Yes, definitely they are going to be side effects because the components of those products are not 
component that has been approved. So there has not been any form of clinical um, trials conducted on this thing to show the efficacy of it. So you're taking them, you're risking yourself because you don't want to go and take a product that tomorrow you wake up, you're, you're, you don't even get to have any form of erection. There is no erection and you're like, hey, what have I done to myself? So before you go on to take, you know, any product make sure you speak to your pharmacist speak to your doctor they're in the best position to advise you whether or not this product is safe for your use now moving on to what can you do what are the things you can do a lot of people have this school of thought that and they have this um weight lifting for the penis they they wear the ring down there and it keeps pulling it down that it's going to work for some persons, it may grow one centimeter longer, yeah, but then it has effect on, you know, your your sperm fertility and every other thing that has to do with your pubic area for the men in that aspect. So, you don't even want to delve into this. A lot of persons say surgery is the best option, but these surgeries also have their own side effect. If they put the silicone there, it might start moving at some point you get to start adjusting you might get an infection you might get scars and at the end of the day you will not even be able to perform okay just imagine having an implant in your penis how is that how is the sex process going to be like for you just picture it so you can just see that these things are processes that they, they, they don't work they are not ideal a lot of researchers have come to the conclusion that look there is no such thing as penis enlargement. Whatever size of penis you have, just go on to work on it. Whatever the size of the penis you have, it does not determine sexual satisfaction. And that's why I would recommend that if you feel like your penis size is, is tiny or is small, speak to a doctor. The doctor will let you know if really what you are calling tiny is really tiny. Because some people are like, it's tiny, but it's up to four inches because the regular size of you know average size is about four to you know six inches for some persons when it's erect and then killing yourself and saying the size of the penis is small meanwhile it's not really small the thing is just that you are not using your machine very well you have to learn to use your tools that tools that you have learn to use it and that's the advice i've always been giving to most of my patients that come to me i tell you learn the skills speak to your partner ask them if they want it rough or slow if they want it you know just ask them try to ask them and they thought that is what that is where the satisfaction comes from the satisfaction doesn't come from when you penetrate and when the man gets the others no it comes from you know you being able to understand your partner and both of you being able to understand your body language there should be a sink and that sink is what leads to satisfaction for both parties so if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section i will definitely do justice to that but before i leave take note there is no such thing as penis enlargement cream there is no such thing as penis enlargement tablet there is no such thing as that all of these things are made all you just have to do do lots of exercise keep fit and i tell you your tools will do the magic that even big size cannot do do take care of yourself and see you in my next video i still remain your drop queen dorono saying stay safe stay healthy and i love you bye